wasn't until about my sophomore year of college that I got interested in reproductive health. Um, I spent some time in Tanzania. I got to spend some time in a clinic and I also got to see some um, C-sections and procedures. And it really struck me the huge burden of maternal health and morbidity and mortality happening there that really wasn't being discussed as much as some other topics. The third year experience was a really a big part of my decision to come to Duke. I think it was a big selling factor for me. I really loved the structure of the medical school program here. And I knew at Duke I would have a whole year kind of dedicated to exploring that interest, doing research, and I thought that would give me a lot of opportunities, and it really has. There's a large disparity in outcomes and the incidence of preeclampsia between white women and black women in particular, um, but also across multiple different ethnic and racial groups. We have this really interesting data set that has some measures of things like discrimination, um, resilience, social support, things that we don't normally get to measure. So we wanted to take this opportunity to use this data set and kind of see if we can explore what that kind of disparity might be related to when, even when we take away all those social, some of those social determinants and see if we can partially explain it through some experiences of discrimination, stress, anxiety, and things like that. So I went to the Society of Maternal Fetal Medicine Conference in San Francisco, meeting with like other people going in that maternal fetal medicine space and networking. And this third year has been unbelievably helpful and I'm so grateful for it so far just because the amount of work I've been able to do in research has been really influential in kind of my growth and seeing how I'm going to realize that goal of becoming a maternal fetal medicine doctor. Um, so it's, it's been really uh, instrumental so far.